What's going on guys, Master Turkey here. So today we're actually gonna go over this PS3 game updates program. It's like four or five years old, but it is possible to work with our PCS3 and I do kind of like using it. Inserting the game disc in the PS3 to get the updates one at a time is annoying as hell. I believe there is another program out there and if there is, I'll go over it. However, I've found this one pretty easy to use, so we're just going to go over this right now. So as you can see, I have the RPCS3 folder already queued up. Right now it's just verifying the games. I've actually used this quite a bit already, but I figured I'd do a video before I finish downloading all the updates for the games that I have. This is a great tool to use for RPCS3 users or just people like me who collect games and back them up anyways. It's an easy way to get updates rather than putting it in the PS3 and updating via their software, which seems to take way longer than this anyways. So as you see now it's verified the games and we have all the updates. So it doesn't have updates. The games that it doesn't have updates for, it'll have like a little exclamation mark next to it. That's just because there is no updates available. I did set the firmware for 4.55. I guess it can't hurt. If you set it for lower, you know, you aren't going to get the updates. And it's possible that there are more updates for this, but at least it gets the majority of your updates out of the way. If you're like me and you have a buttload of our, you know, PS3 backups, then this helps quite a bit. So go ahead and set your firmware for 4.55, right? And then if you select the open file folder, that's where you can find the, the games folder. And I just navigated to the RPCS3 folder that I have, as you can see here, right? And I actually have a disk folder for all the backups of my disks, but it asks for games because it's assuming that you're using this for a custom firmware PS3. And it is actually possible uh, within this title ID box here to put in the IP address of your PS3, but I haven't had any luck doing that, unfortunately. So I'm not exactly sure if it's compatible with the latest custom firmware versions of everything, 4.82 or 4.822, whatever it is that we're on now for rebug, and I know that they have a, another PS3 exploit out for Super Slims. So I'm not sure that this is going to work too well for you guys, seeing as how this is a four or five year old program, but there is another program out there, and if I can find it, or remember it and find it I will do a video of that but really quick you saw that it did verify the games it found the updates that we needed the reason why most of them are grayed out is because I've already used this so we're gonna go ahead and use it just so that you guys can see so the only thing that I have left is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and as you can see there's 246 megabytes using Sony's program that's on their PS3 that seems to take way too long and I was getting really annoyed having to put in each disc and go through updating and it didn't seem to like updating games back to back but you can see downloading these files was really pretty quick really pretty easy may have taken me 15 maybe 20 minutes to do everything it saves it in a folder downloads folder within the program folder that it actually has for the ps3 game updates program there's no way to change this i wish there was but i could not figure out for the life of me how to change that folder So as you see, you just double click on it and it downloads it. It's pretty easy to use. I definitely like this rather than updating them one at a time. As I get closer to completing my collection on my PC, dumping them from the PS3 to the PC, this will become really useful for downloading game update packages. Plus then you can always put this on a USB drive or a USB thumb drive and update it on your PS3 as well. So this will work great 
you don't actually have to have a games folder. I'll show that in a second. Okay, so now I've finished. I've gotten all my updates downloaded. I dig that. I'll have to go through and sort them out. But you can see if you double click on it, it will show you exactly where you have it downloaded. So see, it does save it in the program files, game updates, downloads, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and then it's got the game title ID. So this is definitely a handy tool for both PS3 and RPCS3. I haven't been doing any game updates on the games that I run in RPCS3 just for testing purposes. I figured you should test it with the baseline and then go from there. Although I must admit, it makes more sense updating the game and then running it considering RPCS3 is using the latest version of Sony's official firmware. But I digress. So let's show the title ID change process real quick. So you don't have to have a games folder. You can just type in the name of the game, like God of War. So let's get, oh, my mouse is gone. Oh, great. So let's choose the BC US 99. Let's try just clicking enter. Well, that doesn't that work okay it's a zero updates so let's try Okay, so see you don't even need to have the game folder on your hard drive or even be connected to the PS3. You can just search for the game in the title ID box there. And I like that you can just put the name in. You don't necessarily need the title ID, although you can use the title ID to bring it up as well. And this is very helpful for games like Gran Turismo 6 considering it's what, 10 gigs of file? I'd also like to mention that you can click on the game updates at the top and that actually pulls up a create PS3 extras folder. So make a Blu-ray disc extra menu for each game with all the patches, fixes, downloadable pa packages and videos related. We're going to try that now. I have not tried this. This program is very finicky. I would not suggest queuing up more than two files to download at a time. If you do, you are liable to have it crash, force close on you. So just click one download at a time, by the way, maybe two, and be real careful because the program is not very well made and will crash on you quite frequently. So one, one update package at a time. So we're gonna try and create PS3 extra folders for RPCS3 but again it is asking for the games folder and that is because it thinks we're using this on a custom firmware PS3 so just go ahead and navigate to where your game dumps are do not use this for any PKG files like if you have PSN packages that you've downloaded for RPCS3 I'm I don't believe you need to be making any PS3 extras folders this is for game dumps you can use the updates, the package updates, and that's fine. But if you already are getting PSN packages, then you're probably using the no play, no pay station, and that's fine. Just continue to use that and ignore this. Okay, so I went ahead and navigated to the RPCS3 folder that I have with the game dumps from Multiman that I've transferred over. It's in a disk folder that I have. And it looks like it did find quite a bit of stuff. So we're going to try and hit the start button and hope that this doesn't crash on us.
Well, that was cool. So it did actually modify the five games with 30 new items. We'll have to go in there and check. It looks like it was just Last of Us, God of War Collection, Beyond Two Souls, MLB 13 The Show, and most likely Zone of the Enders HD Collection. So we'll go ahead and check the file folder out to see if it did make any changes. Okay, so here's the Zone of the Enders HD Collection, and it did actually add an update folder and a PS3 Extra folder. That's interesting. So who knows what this is. It's possibly it's downloadable content. It could be something else. So I'll be going over no pay station in the next video. But that does it for this PS3 game updates video. As you can see, it's a great tool for a quick, easy access to your PS3 updates. And it does work pretty fucking well with our PCS3. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. 